On leg one of Black Hawk Down, we travelled from the highest passable road in mainland Australia to the historic river port of Echuca. In the second leg, we will continue along the Murray River to the Great Southern Bend at Morgan in South Australia before ascending the Adelaide Geosync Line to Burra and onto the Flinders Ranges. We'll also spend some time in the second Jeep Blackhawk model, the Grand Cherokee. The Grand Cherokee Blackhawk adds a suite of dark-themed extras to the Laredo variant on which it's based, and arrives with a gutsy 3.0-litre V6 diesel engine built by Italian manufacturer VM Mattori. It's a fantastic touring engine with excellent fuel economy, just right for the long roads north. Our day's trek northwest took us along the Riverina's swathes of irrigated farmland to Mildura and onto the former river port town of Morgan. We leave the river behind here and begin climbing again from 45 metres above sea level to around 500 metres at Hawker. But before arriving in Hawker, we take an overnight break at Burra. This historic copper mining town sits nestled in the Bald Hills Range and is a well-preserved reminder of the toil of South Australia's pioneer settlers. Well, it's day two of Black Hawk Down and we've brought the Grand Cherokee Black Hawk all the way from Echuca to Burra here, just south of the Flinders Ranges. It's been quite a dramatic change as we've headed away from the river, not only in topography as we climb again towards the Flinders Ranges, but also in the aridness of the landscape around us. It's really starting to dry out here and the further north we push, the more we're starting to see that sandy desert creep in. So tomorrow we're gonna head even further north up from Hawker and out into the desert, up along the old Gan track and onto Maree. Well, it's day three of Black Hawk Down and we've been in the Grand Cherokee Black Hawk now for about a day and a half. Now, the interesting thing, aside from the obvious uh, improvement in fuel economy, is just how comfortable, stable and quiet this thing is sitting on the open road. There's plenty of grunt to pull out and overtake and climbing the hills here from the river up onto the plains here before the Flinders Ranges, we've found there's more than enough torque. In fact, we're not even kicking down a gear to climb up some of these steeper hills. The change in landscape's been quite interesting too. Aside from the irrigated land, which obviously looks quite fertile, we've gone through quite a period of dry, sandy road before coming out here and just finding it's just green everywhere, which is quite a bit of a surprise because it's almost a semi-arid area and in fact, the last time I was through here, the grass was a blonde colour and it was very dusty. You, you wouldn't recognise that you're just about to head into the desert. Well, we've driven all the way from Echuca to Hawker here in the southern Flinders Ranges. The Grand Cherokee has been a great companion. We've followed the river down to an altitude of about 50 metres above sea level and we've now climbed to about 500 metres above sea level before we continue on to Lake Eyre. We're now going to switch from the Grand Cherokee into the Wrangler Black Hawk. The Wrangler is a bit more off-road focused, a little bit more heavy duty, so the roads we've chosen for this part of the journey are gonna reflect that to an extent. We're gonna head from here, over the ranges, up the other side following the old Gan line and into Lake Eyre. 